this morning we're waking up here in, in Orlando, Florida, and basically we're going to be heading into Universal again today. For one, um, I, if you guys remember, we went to Cedar Point not that long ago with my brother. Uh, my brother's a huge coaster fanatic, and he has not been down here to ride Velocicoaster yet. So we want to make sure we get into Islands of Adventure to ride Velocicoaster so he can experience that. Two, I'm working on a true crime video from here in Orlando that involves Universal. And I've got to get some shots for that. And three, this is probably going to be our last day being able to go to the parks. And this will probably be our last time down here for this year before Christmas and New Year's and all that. So uh, we definitely want to ride the Velocicoaster and maybe a few of our favorites, but I'm not probably won't show much of us riding rides and all that because I've done that today. Really, I'm just we're going to take a look at a few things that I really haven't talked about before and uh, try to have a good time. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Welcome to Universal Orlando Resort. Now, I know we were just here uh, a couple of months back, but because we came for Halloween Horror Nights, we figured we would at least spend one day in the park. My brother's here with us, and he's never ridden Velocicoaster, which is my all-time favorite coaster, and he's a coaster fanatic as well, so we at least wanted to come ride Velocicoaster today. There is a light crowd here this morning. And because we're staying in a resort, we get early entry into the park. So the big crowds of people won't start coming for another hour or so. And then again, tonight they're having the Halloween Horror Nights event for Halloween. So we're gonna try to be out of here before those crowds get here and this place gets wide open today oh sounds like we got our, the blues brothers going on down here yep there's the car climbing wall I had no clue but apparently it is that's pretty neat actually and they just like built it hidden in that little cubby I mean, Universal Orlando employs a ton of people the uh, steel walkers from the mummy right Optimus Prime. It does. It rains a lot in Florida, but only for like a million. It's the Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Most of the time while we're here, we go and eat lunch at Louie's, the Italian place where I can get spaghetti and meatballs and a Caesar salad. We're going to try something new today, a more fancier type restaurant we're gonna eat at Finnegan's and this is what we're working with today I went with a shepherd's pie and some vegetables Amy got corned beef this place is kind of unique and interesting real quick next we're gonna go in and check out the Halloween Horror Nights tribute store which has this incredible theming 
it's really amazing at how fast they can turn the store around and change how it looks and everything about it. 30 years of Halloween horror. If you guys remember when we were here not that long ago, this was all Velocicoaster and Jurassic World. Uh, okay, these are pamphlets from all the past years of Halloween Horror Nights. That's kind of cool. This has got The Walking Dead and Freddy vs. Jason. Islands of Fear. That is really cool. All the Halloween masks you want. Portraits, busts, statues. WD-40 down there for some reason. It's amazing how much different this place looks considering it was just Velocicoaster and and uh, Jurassic World, it looks so much different now. Hey look, it's Tim Tracker and Jen Tracker here. And uh, super enthused right there. That's hilarious. That's hilarious, Jackie. There's a, another moldorama. What is that? Just a house? A scary house? The haunting of Hill House? Maybe. 30 years, 30 fears. Oh, it's an old wagon. Shady Brook, home for the criminally insane. Uh, oh, look at that. It's brains. Ooey brains. And gummy hearts. Here's a, another one of the... Uh, home for the criminally insane wagons but this one's been in a wreck it's broken the township of Cary how cool is that the wizarding world of Harry Potter it's always so busy back here Always, always, always. Can't destroy the place with a stick. It's about to blow. Child's play boxes. That's cool. Check it all. Looks the bathroom is going.
Doc Brown's train. Looky what we got going on here. How about that? AEW is filming their TV show. That's cool. Now that we have checked out the tribute store, we are switching parks, heading into Universal's Islands of Adventure. We're going to get in line for the Velocicoaster. I can't wait. It is worth it to come back just to ride Velocicoaster. That's what it's all about, man. This ride is my favorite coaster. coasters all over the country in fact we went all the way up to cedar point just to ride roller coasters and i have to say Velocicoaster coaster is my absolute favorite coaster of all of them it's my number one top of my list for sure of course you can't have an afternoon in orlando florida without the bottom falling out and everybody getting soaked while you're trying to ride the Lost Coaster. Everybody's putting on their ponchos, and we got people over here in the automatic dryer trying to dry off. According to the weather on our phones, we're not going to be able to escape it. So I think we're just gonna head towards the exit and uh, get out of here. We, like, we just did this all a couple months ago anyway. It has rained nonstop for hours now without letting go. People are leaving. People are coming in, trying to catch Halloween Horror Nights, even though they're getting soaked. It's a mess. Now that we have left the park, oh, it's a really cool looking fountain there. But now, now that we've left the park, we're gonna walk into this Universal Legacy store. And uh, in fact, I've never been in here, but I heard they have some really cool things, both this gargoyle and that gargoyle were apparently on the front uh, archway at one point. But supposedly there's a bunch of movie props in here and ride props. And I wanted to check it out. There's, uh, there's an alien in there. It's got a cool contraption. Jaws the Ride Grenade Launcher. How cool is that? where they would shoot the Jaws and blow it up. That's super cool. There's the uh, Jaws map up there. Oh, wow. Costumes and props used 
by Arnold Schwarzenegger and Edward Furlong and Linda Hamilton in the making of T2 Terminator 3D. The guns, like when he was riding on the motorcycle, that's a big old gun there. Arnold Schwarzenegger himself wore this outfit. That's super cool. I bet that probably came from Jaws. Exactly what it was, part of Jaws the Ride. Here's the Back to the Future section. Up here on the Back to the Future shelf, there's a hoverboard up there. I can't read what it says. Back to the Future hoverboard used in the Back to the Future uh, ride queue. So that's pretty cool. And then. Uh, and then it looks like one of the cast member uniforms there. Yeah, this is so cool. One point. Oh my God. Proton packs from the Ghostbusters. Wow, how cool is that? Ghostbusters proton pack. That's so cool. Here's a picture here from when they were. Uh, when they were working on Jaws the Ride. Right there, that's kind of cool. It's a Jimmy Neutron team member wardrobe. So at some point they had a Jimmy Neutron ride. So this is a real motorbike for Hagrid's. Okay, so this was commissioned for the grand opening of Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. It's a real motorcycle that they had made by some motor, custom motorcycle shop. Oh, a Moldorama. I'm gonna have to get, oh, it's Jaws. I haven't seen that in a long time. I haven't seen this machine. Look at all the old pictures. You know what, I'm just gonna have to break down and get one of these. There's a, one of the boats from Jaws the Rye. I'm just gonna break down and get one. the Jaws Moldorama. It's interesting. I hadn't seen a Jaws Moldorama here in the park in quite some time, so it's kind of neat to see. Oh, wow, look at it. It's Alfred Hitchcock. And then right beside him is a picture of them, uh, I, I guess it's either under construction or deconstruction of the uh, King Kong ride, the tram ride that used to be here. Not uh, Skull Island, but the old ride right next to Alfred Hitchcock. Oh, okay, so this is, they were designing E.T. the ride, and uh, they made this model here. This is the E.T. ride vehicle. Too cool. Oh, Goblet of Fire, Dragon, challenge Q line so this is harry potter harry potter and the goblet of fire there part of uh, harry potter's Q line that's cool before we can leave universal we've got to get some voodoo donuts and, yep this is the line for voodoo donuts I guess they're trying to keep everyone out of the store. I think that would give anyone a heart attack. You can order a wood coffin slap full of donuts for $139. That's nuts. So we got our box here. Good thing it's come in pink boxes. What we And what we did was we went with the Fryer Flyer dozen. So we got a dozen different kind 
this is going to be our last night here at Universal, although I'm not leaving Orlando just yet. I've got a few true crime videos I'm going to film. Halloween Horror Nights is in full force going now that the rain has finally stopped. But that's going to do it for this video today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, hit the, go down and hit that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. If you want to help support the channel, check out the links down in the description box below. Thank you all so much. I will see you again tomorrow. Please stay safe and stay healthy. Much love to all of you. Check out the menu and see if there's something you want.